and today I am going to learn something interesting about Venus and these are the missions launched uh, to Venus from uh, year 1960 to year 2015 uh, what I have to do is that here in the left I have some missions by different countries uh, that launched um, space objects to Venus either for exploration and uh, for landing crafts there but um, unlike uh, Mars there are not a lot of um, operational landers in Venus but uh, let's see uh, this time I have uh, a knowledge checker which is eight uh, rockets and I have to make uh, I have to launch eight successful missions to get my new knowledge level uh, among these ten so there are some unsuccessful missions and uh, we will see why they were unsuccessful so let's begin with uh, the first one which is a uh, a Japanese uh, mission named Icarus. Uh, those is undertaken uh, 20 May year 2010. I believe it's successful. The Japanese are making very good electronics. So this is a flyby experimental experimental solar sail flew past Venus. Okay, it's successful. Let's see. This uh, Akatsuki mission, I believe it is also successful. The same year. This uh, very ambitious from the Jap Japanese. Uh, two spacecraft, uh, two spacecrafts to Venus in one year. But let's see what uh, have the European uh, space program have uh, done about Venus. This is uh, they have launched uh, Venus Express. Uh, this is a satellite and yes it's successful. Uh, and this satellite is uh, just orbiting, uh, it is orbiter, orbiting Venus entered orbit on 11 April 2006 year 2006. Let's see it and let's see a NASA mission. This is Magellan. Uh, this is launched um, 1989 year. So this is before the new millennium. Let's see. The Americans are making good uh, gadgets. So yes, it is successful. And it is an orbiter entered orbit uh, October 10, 1990. 1990. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Uh, I, I have to adjust myself here. Uh, it's better now. But uh, let's see some of the earliest uh, missions and uh, spacecraft sent to Venus. Uh, this, of course, is during the space race uh, with uh, a lot of Russian and American um, space probes that is before the new millennium and uh, let's begin from the first let's see the Russians have uh, tried uh, these are the Soviet Union in year 1961 have uh, launched Venera 1 Let's see if Venera 1 was successful. And nope, it wasn't. Though they have uh, the next stage of uh, Venera 10 next stage, Venera 10, which should have been successful. Let's see, 1975. Yeah. And yes. But let's see what happened to Venera 1. Communication failure. Alright, and Venera 10, it is an orbiter, orbiter and lander. So it have uh, sent a ground module, entered orbit on 23 October 23, 
1975 Lander landed same day but uh, this is 75 let's see let's see which is the first a successful mission to Venus uh, that should be Mar Mariner 2 Mariner 2 and yes that should be the first uh, it is only flyby uh, the the year 1962, then maybe the first successful flyby to Venus. All right. Uh, okay, Zond One were sent on April 2, 1964. This is another Soviet mission, but again unsuccessful. What happened? Electronics sh shorted out, communication lost before flyby. Wow, it, it have uh, been carrying a lander. So the Soviets <laughs> could have their first lander on the planet if it was successful though. Uh, let's see, Cosmos 167. Uh, I just wonder if this is a successful mission. No, it is not. Okay. A prestige failed to, failed to ignite. <laughs> Interesting. 1970. Okay, let me see another successful. These Americans, they are making good stuff, yes. And this is a flyby on year 1974. Just fly by. And uh, here are some of the modern missions. Now I'm out of rockets, so I will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I just need one successful mission to get my knowledge level. And I believe this Venera 11 uh, mission is pretty successful because uh, back then, during these years, the Soviets were very proud with it. I remember that. I don't know if someone believe me, but I do remember that. And yes. Okay. And this is. Uh, yes, that is. It is a flyby and lander. Flyby on Deca December 25, year 1978. This is another successful Soviet missions, and uh, there are more. If uh, you like to check the other ones, uh, this game is uh, always online and playable without registration or anything. Very fun and educational. Hope it has been fun. See you next time.